<laughs> Sorry, Screamer. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Let's go up top and see if there's something we can push off or something. Maybe I just gotta jump down on it? I feel like it's a bad idea, dude. That ain't it, Chief. Um, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I've never really been big on them. That's why I've never played them. Like, don't get me wrong. They were fun. They were certainly not terrible. It's just back at that time, uh, in the time of N64, I was really invested into other things like shooters and whatnot. You know what I mean? I didn't really get into my RPG phase until I discovered Baldur's Gate and things like that. Trying to figure this out. Maybe there's something up here I have to push down the mountain? I mean, I doubt it, but I ain't got any other ideas right now. My mom beat Ocarina of Time four times in her old N64. You have a cool mom. You do have a cool mom, dude. My mom is actually the one that introduced me to video games in general. She, uh, just before I was born, she bought a, uh, an NES. And she played a lot of Mario Brothers and Tetris. And one day, um, the whole, my whole origin story is when I first got into gaming, or when, when I was watching her play one day, and I was, I was two years old. And, uh, she, you know, she handed the controller to me and let me play Mario. So I played it the entire day, ended up beating the game. And then, uh, she didn't believe me. So she sat on the couch and watched me play the game again. She said that if I completed the game, then she would go ahead and, uh, buy me the next Mario game. So I beat the game twice in one day. And the next day she went out and got the next Mario game for me. I was two years old. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, my mom is responsible for where I am today. Kind of cool to think about. Because of that, I've always been super into gaming. It's always been my main hobby, you know? And here I am now doing it full time. It's like my job. It's pretty insane, dude. Wow, it's very quiet up here. Not seeing... I'm going to go back up there again. I didn't climb all the way up. I just kind of jumped off while talking. So let's go back up top there. Because the way that, the way it's shaped, it looks like something is supposed to roll down it, right? Like, it looks like that to me. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but... I don't know. Yeah, and that's right, Screamer. They didn't actually have Super Mario Brothers 2 at the time, so she bought me Super Mario Brothers 3. I didn't play Super Mario Brothers 2 until later on in life. That's alright, though, because I found out later on as well that Super Mario Brothers 2 isn't exactly a true Mario game. It was just like a reskin of another game. They just put Mario stuff over their sprites and whatnot. Hey, Neko Spectre. Thank you for the host, buddy. I appreciate it, dude. Kind of video games really late in life. My dad would say... They, my dad would say they weren't for girls, only started for real with Tibia. Hey, that's pretty cool, though, Jenny. Cool that you got into it through Tibia. Tibia was a big part of my life for a long time. 
And now it's raining. Neko, thank you for the host, buddy. I appreciate it, dude. Hope you had a good stream. I really hate the rain in this game. It's very annoying. I can't get up there now. Because it's suddenly raining. Dang it. Let's take this path, then. We'll get to the summit yet. Someone explain to me what tibia is. Tibia is a, uh, a bone in your body. <laughs> but also, it's a it's an MMORPG on PC. I think the game started, back, started up in uh, 1997 or 1998, so it's very old. But it's actually still active today. It's a very old MMO. It's like a top-down 2D thing. It's got your basic MMO elements, though. It's got a uh, party system, so you can group up with people. It has raids and quests. It has uh, thousands and thousands of items. It has, like, its own... Uh, a very unique magic system, actually, where you have to enter in words to cast spells. For example, uh, the words Utevo Lux mean, in Latin, create light. When you type Utevo, U-T-E-V-O, space L-U-X... When you have that spell on on your character, it casts the spell when you when you press enter. It's very cool, and it has like a, a rune making system where you can cast spells with runes to put the magic into the runes, so you can store the magic and use it later on. They have all sorts of different spells and stuff that you can use utilize with runes. It's really well done, really well done. very cool is it free to play it is it is free to play it's always been free to play yeah I don't know dude I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here we're quite far from what where we have to be now let's go back down there and see if there's something like heavy we can move on to it somewhere You'll just have to uh, just get by the graphics. The graphics on the game are really rough because they're old and old, have only been updated a couple of times. Outside of that, though, the game is good. It also has a very hardcore system where if you die, you lose 10% of your total health. It's pretty insane. Or not, not total health, 10% of your total experience. So say if you are... Uh, I think it's level 41 where you break 100,000 experience. If you die at level 41, you'll lose 10,000 experience. It'll knock you back down a couple levels. It's pretty insane. And items. Yeah, you have like a 30% chance of uh, losing equipped items. And you also lose your backpack and everything in it. Unless you have what's called blessings where you'll keep stuff like that. And blessings are expensive. Welcome back, Jaden. It's a very, very hardcore MMO. It's a lot of fun. Man, I'm not seeing anything, dude. Like, there's nothing I can use Magnesis on to move it. Maybe if I can use Cryonis on it? No? I <laughs> thought maybe the ice would weigh it down. Apparently not. I am very much so missing something. Oh yeah, and on PvP servers, you can PvP pretty much anywhere. You can PvP right in the towns, in the cities, or in quest areas. It's pretty crazy, dude. All right, does anyone know how to do this thing by chance? Anyone know how to do this? Because I don't. Only let it play on weekends because my mom was glued to our NES playing Mario when you were a kid. <laughs> Sounds like a cool mom, though. What game were you talking about? Uh, it's an MMO called Tibia. And check your log. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Um...
Accidentally drop the ceremony of Trident using the champion near. Find the spear and recreate the actions from the song. A new trial may open. So maybe if I equip that while I'm down there, maybe. I don't know, dude. I don't know how to recreate the stuff from the song, though. No, Adul, I was asking for his help. Untime him out. I asked for the help, Adul. I don't know, man. Get from the sky a scale of light splits the feet of a veiled falls sight. Your trial awaits its glowing bright. Trello accidentally dropped the ceremonial trident used in the champion ceremony off of the bridge. If you find the spear and recreate the actions from the song, a new trial may open. Hmm. Hmm. At Duck Hunt and Ice Climber as well. Those were fun games back then, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yes, dude. Give me your fish. All right, let's go back up there and stab down on it then. Yeah, it's all good, guys. All right, hold on. I'm going to do a quick save in case I break this thing. I missed. It is my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I totally missed and she just healed my ass. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> my bad. Let's try that again, shall we? That's a miss. Yo, Hadron, what up, dude? I keep missing. I got to line it up better. Oof. Welcome back, Not. <laughs> yeah, they didn't do anything for me. These fish died, though. for it okay that was it very nice uh-oh Ready then, guys. We did it. And we got a shrine. Let's put that away so we don't break it. Thank you, guys. I would have never discovered that otherwise, to be honest with you. 
The earth just got erect. It did. It did, dude. Right, let's go in there. Let's do the thing. All right. This cat is biting my toes. Hadron, how you doing, dude? How you doing, buddy? I am Daga Keek. By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. All right, cool. Very nice. What's in the box? Nice. Rupee's like crazy now, dude. Well, let's look around, make sure there's nothing else in here. Doesn't look like it. All right. Very nice. Yeah, it seems so, Talon. Seems so. I'll have to keep that in mind for the future. Is you there coming up next week? Right, right. Hopefully all goes well for you, man. I've been good, dude. Hanging out playing Zelda here. Having a really good time with it, to be honest. Some of the puzzles are definitely beyond me, though. It makes me feel so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. the spirit orb that makes four so we can up our stamina soon happy about it bud happy about it hey thank you crypt to kill refreshing change hell yeah dude i plan on bringing more single player content into the stream in general i am very much over the idea of playing any one single game for all of eternity you know what i mean played a lot of games like you know rpgs and stuff growing up and i definitely want to do that more on stream so we are i like it Welcome to how Sober Pirate feels every puzzle game. Aw, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Horizon Zero Dawn streams were awesome, too. Oh my god, I love that game, dude. Loved playing that game back then, man. It was awesome. Awesome, awesome. How about Mario Odyssey for next solo game? Maybe so. I'm going to look up a bunch of single-player games and like that I wanted to play when they came out and then just kind of pick from that list and go from there. It's so good, Griff. It's so good, dude. Adventure log. These are completed. What kind of side quest do we have? Oh, right. Ateno Ancient Lab stuff. Oh, I never delivered goat butter. I need to find goat butter, guys. Isn't there goat butter at uh, Kariko? Isn't there? Let's go check that out. I bet you there is. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing it. A duel! You beautiful man. Thank you for five gifted subs to Talon, you betcha, Carolyn, Knightly Alpha, and HB1990. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate the, con the, the continued support. There's five more gifted subs. Thank you, man. So going to mix it up, though? Oh, absolutely, Southern, yeah. It's not going to only be single-player stuff. It'll, it'll just be kind of games in general. Yeah. Another five gifted subs to Lady of Gondor, Loudman, Zilnox, Smoker, and Killer Hatchet. A duel. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the love, man. Oh, we have this shrine we can pray at real quick, too. Let's get more stamina, guys. Stamina! <laughs> Thank you, a duel. Sticking to a single game for a really long, really long time is never good for any streamer. It's not bad coming back to a certain game that you enjoy, but I do believe variety streams have more potential in the future. Yeah, and that seems to be the way of it. There's There are a few exceptions to the rule, of course. There are some channels out there that are big, only related to one single thing. But even then, those same people will often take what they have and move to other things and start putting variety in there to grow upon that. Definitely makes sense. Oh my gosh, another five. The Reading Singer, Mr. Minnow, Crimsonish, Hadron, and Kruchenstig. Thank you, Adul. Thank you, dude. I appreciate all those subs, man. Thank you so much. 
Very awesome. What's up, Rico? How you doing, man? Goat butter. Just one. Aww. She makes some weird noises. The butter, Mazzini. But yeah, my plan for the future of the channel is just kind of play games and hang out with you guys. Multiplayer, single player. All the like. You know what I mean? Uh, where's the... Is it Lurlin Village? All right. All right. Like following a single game through. Yeah. I uh like before we started playing this, we were playing a bunch of PUBG and I will definitely go back to play more PUBG after we complete this game. I definitely want to get a couple more uh, games in. I love PUBG. And while we're doing that, we'll think of uh, what game to play next. You know what I mean? All right, dude. I guess we'll have to sit and wait. Oh, you know what I could do? I'm going to take this time to go around and get like crabs and such. We're going to go scour this coast again like we did uh, last time we were here. Pick some stuff up. Just get some more material to cook with as time goes on, you know? <laughs> he got me a palm fruit too. Nice. I'll go back to Battlefield 5 eventually. Yeah, I want to try it out again when they release the uh, American and Japanese content in the fall. I won't be playing it until that point, though. And depending on how we like it, we'll decide whether we continue to play it from that point or not. I've pretty much decided to give them to the fall to fix the game up. And if it's not where it makes me happy, then I won't worry about it until the next Battlefield comes out. There's too many good games out there to just stick to one game, you know? Too many good ones. I'm very happy that so many of you guys understand that and want to be along for the ride and check out everything with me. It's such a cool thing, guys. Going through The Last of Us again for the third time? Nice. Adul's a big fan of that one. We're all waiting for The Last of Us 2 as well. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, um, I am going to be uploading all of my content from this game up to YouTube. I have some other single player game stuff on there as well. We have Spider-Man, God of War. I think uh, we have some other stuff on there too. I can't remember just now, but I know there's a couple games for sure up there. God of War and Spider-Man as well as some others. If you haven't been over to check that out yet, you should do so. Especially if we're not live, you know what I mean? If you're looking for more content through that it's all up there for you we also have some like pubg highlight videos as well where we highlight some of our better rounds that are up there glad you enjoy it crypto kill that's great man nope this whole time rick this whole time dude far cry yeah far cry was great i don't think we uploaded that to youtube unfortunately I think something was happening at that time where I just didn't have the extra time to uh, make that happen, you know? Unfortunately. Far Cry 5 was really fun to play, though. <laughs> Gotta go. All right, Rick. <laughs> I see you, dude. What is this? I don't have a shovel. Am I supposed to get a shovel? I don't need one. Nice. So many games out that they want to play but don't have money. Yeah. Games are expensive. That's why I waited until the Steam sale and bought a bunch of games up that I've been waiting to play. I got all of the uh, Divinity games on Steam. It cost me a total of $50 for the entire franchise, dude. I was so damn happy. What's up, Fluffy? Yep. Did I miss something? I'm sorry. I've thought about playing Okami. I don't know what Okami is. What's Okami, Fluffy? Inform me. 
Learn me something good. Far Cry 5 is on YouTube. Perfect. That's great then. There was something that I played single player on stream that I didn't upload. I can't remember what it is. But if Far Cry 5's up there, that's great. That was a very good time. Damn it. What the heck is this guy doing, dude? Damn, that was a power attack. That was cool as hell. That was a weird fight, though. I'll make a banana bread. That sounds delicious. I haven't had banana bread in so long, lady. I'm gonna have to make some soon, I think. At least get the wife to make some. It's good to see you again. Far Cry 5, Metro 2033, Last of Us, Spider-Man, God of War. Is Metro up on YouTube? Maybe it was Metro that I didn't upload. Maybe that was the one. Oh, probably a duel. Yeah, they'll probably use it as a, uh, a launch game. I don't see why they wouldn't, to be honest. That'd be the proper move to do there, for sure. Metro's on it. Maybe I do have everything uploaded. I don't know. Franz Finest, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Jesus, dude. No! Don't kill me! I'm too young to die! What am I climbing, dude? Weird, dude. Trying to blow up the bomb, but all of a sudden I was climbing the wall. <laughs> What's happening, man? What is happening? Oops, not what I wanted there. My bad. And they kicked my bomb. Yeah, rude. Rude. Just so I could show you guys, Dobby just dropped this on my foot. This is the toy that I mentioned earlier. What he does is he will bring the toy to me. It's hard to see because green screen, but you can see his little fuzzy mouse thing that he tore open on the top. He, uh, he brings the mouse to me because he likes to play fetch. You guys see him down there? He's waiting for me to throw it right there. What's this? What's this, buddy? You ready? You ready? Go get it. God, he's the cutest thing, dude. He's just the cutest thing, man. I love that cat so much. <laughs> and he'll bring it back in a minute, too. He'll bring it back. He does it all the time. Loves playing fetch, dude. 